example of what a good impression will look like. As you can tell here, if you look at these teeth, this patient has already had their third molars extracted. You can see here in the upper right, as well as the upper left quadrant, that there are two molars on both sides. This patient has had them extracted. They are also known as their wisdom teeth. So those are gone. It's really important that you do get the distal of that very back molar in there. So as you can see, I do have the distal on both the upper right as well as the upper left quadrant. It's also important that you do have a good impression of the palate. As you can see, there is a lot of dimension in here that is going to replicate exactly what this patient's palate looks like. It's going to make it a better impression um, for the dentist when they do take the opposing impression. Also, as you know, dental assistants are not able to take impressions for anything permanent. However, we can take the preliminary impression um, and kind of give them a good idea of what it will look like. Another important thing too, is that you do have a good um, impression of the frenum and you do have a good lip roll. So as you can see here, this is where that frenum is. This is the patient's lip roll. I have a good impression of the palate. I have all of the teeth as well as the distal of the back molars. So this would be a very good example of a preliminary impression, um, an impression that you can take before dentures, before partials, or for a retainer.